That's why I'm there. <laughs> That's why I'm just asking you what I'm doing. That's what you want. That's why you're studying. Why do you want to avoid it? Have you ever imagined what it's like to live in utter silence? Have you ever desperately needed to understand and all you hear is silence? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, there are roughly 100 million deaf people worldwide, a million of which live in South Africa alone. And as you have seen, deaf people need to interact with hearing people on a daily basis. But it doesn't have to be this way. Hi, my name is Mehtal Vaziaska. And I'm Nathan Naidu. Team iSign from the University of the Western Cape in beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. We have pioneered a revolutionary digital phrasebook that translates between sign language and English. In place of human translators that can cost up to hundreds of dollars an hour, our system can translate simple phrases from sign language into English and English back into sign language. In South Africa, for example, most deaf people are impoverished and cannot afford such an expensive system. Take the doctor scene, for example. Let's see this revised using iSign. Jeff stands in front of the camera and signs, and iSign records him and then translates this into English. The doctor can then reply by speaking into the microphone. This again is translated by iSign and appears in sign language using a 3D avatar. The deaf person stands in front of the camera and iSign captures his words in sign language. It then breaks up this video into frames. For each frame, here's what iSign does. The image is stabilized by centering the deaf person on the frame to standardize it from variations in body dimensions and position. A grid is then constructed using the head dimensions, which has been shown to be proportional to other body dimensions. The hands of the person are then detected using skin detection techniques to be able to detect motion across frames. Motion information is then stacked into a time series, which is then fed into an artificial intelligence module, which determines which sign was spoken. Finally, the word is spoken out using a text-to-speech converter through the speakers. The hearing person now responds. iSign captures his voice through the microphone. It then converts this to text using a speech-to-text engine. Finally, a 3D humanoid avatar speaks out the sign language of that word on the screen. Can you see the possibilities with this? Ultimately, this can grow into a full translation system that can be used in the classrooms. Universal primary education alleviating global poverty, the workplace, ev 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 everywhere. 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 This system is the first of its kind anywhere. This will change the world. Isn't this absolutely awesome? This is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, but wait, I just thought of something. What about mobility? Mobility? Mobility is power. Mobility is the future, man. Mobility is everything. I sign mobile. I sign mobile. Believe, Believe it. it. That's right. Believe it or not, Jeff can use his phone as a mobile phrase book. The doctor captures Jeff signing. The video is then sent over the wireless network to the iSign server.
which logs the request. and processes it, converting it to speech. The phone then retrieves the speech and plays it back. Hello. The doctor can then record voice and it's translated, retrieved and rendered as a 3D avatar signing sign language. How are you? Man, this is brilliant, my dog. This is sheer brilliance. But wait, I just thought of something again. What about phone to phone capabilities? Phone to phone capabilities. Phone to phone capabilities. Believe, Believe it. it.